Unit setup. Seat the patient in a blue chair and collect the following items. Radiology cassette with XCP instruments, cotton rolls, rubber bands, and optional stickers that aid fitting the plate into the bike lock. A pair of gloves, a mask that's optional, a cup with phosphor plates, two blue napkins, barrier tape, a chair bag, and a Kleenex to wipe off the phosphor plates. Put gloves and mask on prior to setting up the unit. Place two napkins with the dull side up. Place the cassette, Kleenex, and phosphor plates on top of the napkin. Keep the cup off the contaminated napkin and handle only with bare hands after exposure. Cover the exposure switch and barrier tape and the chair with a plastic bag. Instrument setup. In order to take a maxillary canine periapical radiograph, begin assembling the anterior XCP instrument. Begin by taking the anterior bite block, usually blue, and attach a cotton roll with a rubber band to it. Then attach the bite block to the XCP rod. Secure the ring that is not offset onto the rod so the PID indentations face the operator. Take a size 1 phosphor plate, apply the sticker to the side of it with an A to help aid with fitting the plate into the bite block. Insert the side of the plate with an A on it into the holder on the bite block. Note the copper X must face the patient and the solid black side will face the operator. Now you may retrieve your patient and seat them. Remember, always put the thyroid collar on. If a patient requests, there is a lead apron in the drawer. Before taking the radiograph, the x-ray unit will need to be turned on. Select the appropriate setting depending if your patient is an adult or a child. On the x-ray tube, press the button to select the anterior tube. Ask the patient to remove any items such as glasses that may interfere with, interfere with the exposure. Ask the patient to open his mouth and insert the phosphor plate into the mouth, keeping the black side facing the operator. Paste Place the bite block up to the toothing image centering the canine. Ask the patient to slowly close his mouth to stabilize the instrument. Push the ring up towards the patient to produce an ideal 20 degree vertical angle. Retrieve the x-ray tube and ensure that the PID is in its vertical orientation to mimic the shape of the phosphor plate. Line the PID up with the indentations in the ring. The PID should be perpendicular to the tooth, creating the ideal horizontal angulation. Make sure the PID is parallel with the XCP instrument to ensure the contact between the lateral incisor and canine is open. Exit the room and stand behind the lead glass window. Press the exposure button to complete the circuit and hold until the beep stops. Move the x-ray tube to the side and remove the XCP instruments from the patient's mouth. Take the phosphor plate out of the bite block and wipe it down with the cleaner. Drop the dry plate into the cup. Remember not to touch the cup with contaminated gloves. Remove gloves and take the cup to the dark room while the patient waits in the x-ray chair.